Let's denote the given algebraic expression by capital A. Now we are given that alpha and beta are roots of the equation x square minus p times x plus 1 minus q. Now this can be rearranged as a quadratic in x which is x square minus px minus p plus q is equal to 0. Therefore the sum of the roots alpha plus beta is equal to p and the product of the roots is equal to minus of p plus q. Now going back to the expression for capital A, the first term is equal to alpha plus 1 whole square divided by, we add and subtract 1 in the denominator, so it becomes alpha square plus 2 alpha plus 1 plus q minus 1. And similarly in the second term, the numerator is beta plus 1 whole square, the denominator we add and subtract 1, so it becomes beta square plus 2 beta plus 1 plus q minus 1. The first term can be rewritten as alpha plus 1 whole square divided by alpha plus 1 whole square plus q minus 1. And the second term is beta plus 1 whole square divided by beta plus 1 whole square plus q minus 1. Taking a common denominator, we get in the numerator alpha plus 1 whole square times in brackets beta plus 1 whole square plus q minus 1 plus beta plus 1 whole square times in brackets alpha plus 1 whole square plus q minus 1. All this divided by the common denominator which is alpha plus 1 whole square plus q minus 1 times beta plus 1 whole square plus q minus 1. The numerator can be rearranged as alpha plus 1 whole square times beta plus 1 whole square plus q minus 1 times alpha plus 1 whole square. The second term in the numerator can also be opened up similarly which is equal to alpha plus 1 whole square times beta plus 1 whole square plus q minus 1 times beta plus 1 whole square. And the denominator is equal to alpha plus 1 whole square times beta plus 1 whole square plus q minus 1 times alpha plus 1 whole square plus q minus 1 times beta plus 1 whole square plus q minus 1 whole square. The numerator, the first and the third terms are equal, so we combine them. Therefore, the value of a is equal to 2 times alpha plus 1 times beta plus 1 whole square plus Combining the remaining terms in the numerator, q minus 1 is taken common and in brackets we have alpha plus 1 whole square plus beta plus 1 whole square. And the denominator is equal to alpha plus 1 times beta plus 1 whole square plus taking q minus 1 common between the second and the third terms in the denominator we get q minus 1 times in brackets alpha plus 1 whole square plus beta plus 1 whole square and finally plus q minus 1 whole square in the denominator. Now alpha plus 1 times beta plus 1 occurs both in the numerator and denominator so we calculate its value separately. It opens up to be equal to alpha beta plus alpha plus beta plus 1. Plugging in the values of alpha beta and alpha plus beta derived earlier we get minus p minus q plus p which is the value of alpha plus beta plus 1. The p cancels and we are left with 1 minus q. Similarly the term alpha plus 1 whole square plus beta plus 1 whole square appears both in the numerator and denominator. We open it up it's equal to alpha square plus 2 alpha plus 1 plus beta square plus 2 beta plus 1 which is equal to alpha square plus beta square plus 2 times alpha plus beta plus 2. Alpha square plus beta square can be rewritten as alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta plus 2 times alpha plus beta plus 2. Plugging in the values of alpha plus beta and alpha beta this becomes p square plus 2 times p plus q plus 2p plus 2. This simplifies to p square plus 4p plus 2q plus 2. Substituting these values in the expression for a above, the numerator is 2 times 1 minus q whole square 
plus q minus 1 times in brackets p square plus 4p plus 2q plus 2 and in the denominator we have 1 minus q whole square plus q minus 1 times in brackets p square plus 4p plus 2q plus 2 plus finally q minus 1 whole square in the denominator q minus 1 whole square and 1 minus q whole square in the denominator are the same so we combine those terms and note that the numerator and denominator are identical therefore they cancel and the value of a is 1. 